Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robot's clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive, searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead. There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping. And Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Damn it, just my luck. He used to work at his father's music store before the incident. I know it's silly, but whenever he's wearing those headphones, I really worry the cops will hear and come running in. gift to just charge it one last time.
can't leave yet. Olga's counting on us to find something for Vera's fever. Whoa, that's a lot of drugs. I don't know what they're all for, but I gotta find something for Vera's fever. And I'm guessing it's in that case. I hate to admit it, but if Matt were here, he'd figure something out. There's gotta be something for Vera's fever inside that case. The only way to find out for sure is to move that shelf. Somehow. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. The cops will hear it. Need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever. Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. No, it's not gonna work. There has to be another way. Think. So, what have we got here? I can't open the door. Not when it's blocked like this. Whoa, look at all those meds. No way I'm breaking down this door though. I'll have to find a control panel. You have to find the manager's keycard first. It's the manager's office. Probably something useful inside. Only problem? It's locked. Okay, keycard. Show me what's behind door number one. Nice room. This thing was a relic even before the incident. So, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's not working. I bet that cable I found will work nicely here. Marta would love this. She's crazy about anime and pretty much anything else from Japan. This could show me something useful, if I can fix the rest. Right, no power. What's left of humanity is a little bit like this poor little guy. No one left to water it. Oh, the irony. I can't get this open on my own. Maybe the fire alarm? Nope, bad idea. That would bring a lot of unwanted guests. I'll have a look on my way out of here. Yuck, it smells like something died in here. Makes sense, robots don't have much need for plumbing. The back door is already unlocked. Could be useful if we need to cut and run. We're not finished here. This isn't just any old supply run. We have to find something for Vera's fever.
Hey, I found this. Thought it might be, you know, useful. Great. I've been scared to check, but I think the one I've been using is on its last legs. Hey, Park. What have we got? Total mess. I guess we weren't the first ones to hit the pharmacy. They took everything. Except for these appetite suppressants. Hallelujah. Our prayers have been answered. All right, let's keep going. I should let him focus. We can't leave yet. Olga's counting on us to find something for Vera's fever. I'm guessing I can use the terminal to unlock the warehouse door. The hard part? I'll be getting it working again. It's a rec room. The door's locked. How to get inside? I can't get this open on my own. Maybe the fire alarm? Nope. Bad idea. That would bring a lot of unwanted guests. We're not finished here. This isn't just any old supply run. We have to find something for Vera's fever. Looks like a few parts are missing. This could show me something useful, if I can fix the rest. No, it's not going to work. There has to be another way. Think. Still quiet so far, but we have to hurry. It's alive. Nice work, Emily. Comfy. Hey, little buddy, why so quiet? No one to play with? I can't imagine living on the run when you can't even walk. Still, I guess that's why they chose to hunker down here, all this useful stuff. Whatever the case, and whoever they were, they couldn't stay hidden forever. Godsend. Luckily, it has some more of the meds Justin needs. Although, let's be honest, a wheelchair is already pretty much a death sentence in this city. Thankfully, this place is the perfect place to hole up. Might even stay a while. Food could become a problem since the closest store is three blocks away, but Justin's safety has to come first. 
I've been going from time to time to scout out the area, praying they don't spot me. Turns out the commotion I heard yesterday was a group of people trying to hide here. Nothing but former survivors now. You know what? Everything worked out. They made a bunch of racket in the sales area, but I just shut the door and they never even knew we were here. There's a lot of things I miss from before, but the idiot box isn't one of them. Maybe Brian could hack the safe, but I'm not getting it open without a key. A safe. Now, how to go about getting it open? So, what have we got here? Painkillers, bingo. These will come in handy for sure. Surprise, out of order. No good, out of reach. Thanks, but I kinda like living. Right, no power. Damn it, it's locked. But I'm guessing the key can't be too far away. All the batteries have been placed. Fingers crossed. Power failure. Restarting the alarm system. No, 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 no! Park? Park? Okay, this is not good. Park? Where are you? What the? The alarm. Disable it using the manager's computer. Damn. On the way. Quick! Just wait. Hurry, Park! What the hell is he... This is getting bad. Uh, 
Again? Okay, this sucks. You all right, Em? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just need a sec. You sure the alarm will stay off? I guess. Anyway, it's off now. Just shout if you need me. Stupid fridge. I should try again. Suddenly I've got chills running down my spine. Yes! It worked! No good. Out of reach. No good. Out of reach. I just hope Alex knows how to say thank you. Now, let's see what we've got. A gravity jack. Just what we need to move that shelf out of the way. We can lift the shelf using a gravity jack. Okay. I'll be right there. Slide it underneath, and I'll grab it from the other side. All right. No, no! Damn it! Come on, Em. Grab the stuff, and let's get out of here. It's here. Let's go. Shit, my backpack! Hold on, I'll be right back. Park, no! Forget about it! My inhalers! Human, stop where you are. For your safety, remain calm and do not resist.
Where the hell did you disappear to? Oh, you're back. So, how did it go? We made it back and we've got the meds. The rest doesn't matter. What does is bringing Vera's fever down. Now we're talking. You did good. Once. Claire, get him something to eat. Just don't make too much noise. Well, you're not hurt, and you didn't come back empty-handed. Oh, I just made pancakes. Who's hungry? Thanks, but I gotta get some sleep. I can barely stand on two legs, much less hold a fork. All right, so I'll heat up a breakfast for you when you wake up. But please, will you first get some fever medicine to Olga? It appears Vera is getting worse. And you, Park? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Where's Matt? Off getting supplies. We're running low on food. He should be back soon. Emily, I think the old man needs your help. Can you check in with him? <laughs> 